Welcome back to Recraft Fundamentals. Today, we're diving into 3D styles and exploring three different ways you can create 3D assets and characters right inside Recraft. Let's begin with the quickest method. Start with a clean canvas. On the left panel, choose Image Set, then open the Styles menu. Here, you'll see a variety of ready-made 3D options, such as Clean Plastic 3D, Soft Abstract, or 3D Isometric Icon. Pick the one that matches the vibe you're going for. From here, just type in simple prompts, nothing complicated. Recraft will generate six unique 3D assets, all following the same consistent aesthetic. And if you want your results to look more controlled, you can choose a specific color palette, either by adding the exact colors you need or by selecting one of the randomly generated sets. Let's pick this one for example and click Generate. Recraft will stick to those exact colors, which is super useful when you're working with a brand identity or a fixed visual direction. Now, if you want your 3D look to feel more personal or unique, here's an easy way to do that. Click the style button on the left and upload a reference image. Right under it, just add a short note that clarifies what you want Recraft to extract from the reference. If everything looks right, go ahead and hit save style. Select your new style from my styles Describe what you want to generate, and Recraft will match that aesthetic across every asset. Try creating a few different characters. You'll notice how nicely everything stays consistent. And finally, let's look at how to transform any image into a clean 3D style using Nano Banana Pro. Upload your image to the canvas and select it. From the external models list, choose Nano Banana Pro. Now paste the detailed 3D conversion prompt from the video description. That prompt basically tells the model how to reinterpret lighting, shading, and surface textures in a clean 3D style. Click Generate, wait a moment, and you'll see the transformation. You can even attach additional reference images and reuse the same prompt to keep all your outputs perfectly consistent. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Recraft tutorials.